Hi, and welcome to the Zebra and IOTA Verifiable Credential Smart Card demo. These are the steps we'll be covering in this demo. The first step we need to do is to create a credential. The health authority would need to create a template for this credential. This is a pre-made template. The health authority could add or remove information from here as they deem fit. All they would need to do is populate these fields with the patient's information. For the sake of time, here is a pre-made example with pre-populated patient information. The second step we need to complete is to sign this credential with the health authority identity in order to create a verifiable credential. We do this by using a script provided by IOTA called sign. And we will be passing through this JSON file here with the patient credentials, asking this to be signed. If we run this script and give it a moment, the script is currently signing this credential using the health authority's identity, which is stored on the Tangle, and no patient data is being stored on the Tangle. As we can see here, the credentials have been stored on our PC, and I can preview these verifiable credentials by opening the file. And we can see now we have our original credentials with additional information that makes this a verifiable credential. Now that we have the verifiable credential, the third step is to encode this information into a Zebra smart card. There are a number of ways of doing this. For the demo, I'm using Zebra Card Studio 2.0 with a pre-made project and I have pre-populated this project with two verifiable credentials. One of these verifiable credentials is valid and the other is invalid. If I was to print both of these records onto a Zebra card printer, the card printer will now go ahead and encode and print the verifiable credentials. We can see this happening live here on the Zebra printer currently encoding the first card and it is now as we can see here printing the information onto the card itself. Once complete it will do the same process with the second card one of these being valid and the other being invalid. So we can see here we have created our first Zebra IOTA vaccination credential smart card this has all of the information encoded into the chip within the card and the patient's details are printed onto the card itself. We give this a moment to finish printing the second card. We'll be able to see that on the face of things, both of these cards are almost identical, but the information contained within them, crucially, is different. So we can see two identical cards as far as the human eye can tell and these are now ready to be presented for verification. So the third step or the fourth step I should say is to present these cards to a smart card reader, in this case a mobile device, with the demo application preloaded. Now if we are to present the card to the device we can see that the patient's details are red and they are deemed to be invalid when we verified this with the tangle. If we were to take the other card that we printed and perform the same action, we can see that this card is valid. So we have two very similar vaccination credentials. One is valid and one is not.